Come on, girls. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Well, as you can see, I'm at the runoff, shifting the calves. Um, so, yeah, we got back from our trip down to uh, Gisborne yesterday around 7 o'clock. It was a really good time. Um, people down there are doing very well. Um, yes, there are some cases where they're not, but um, they're just getting on with it. So, it was great to go down there and help them out. Um, so, yeah, the... Um, like I said, I've just shifted the calves. Um, so I'm looking at potentially actually going to start feeding some silage down here. Um, because sort of like at home, we're a little bit short on grass. Well, it's just not very long. We've got plenty of grass. It just doesn't have the length. So I'm going to start. That doesn't seem to make sense, does it? Plenty of grass, but not enough length. Uh, but they're just not getting enough. So, well, I think they're not getting enough. I think they could do with like a a half or a third of a bale so I'm going to start coming down every couple of days and feeding out silage to these girls um, just to keep them well fed but they are looking good I think they're looking they're actually looking pretty good I'm also going to go and check the the beefies over there um, and the heifers oh, the winds just picked up it wasn't windy before um, but yeah we're in for a few nice days of weather so now this afternoon I'm planning on uh, drilling the turnips or drilling the grass seed but into the turnip paddock um, last last Thursday or Friday I drilled it and then I stopped because of the wet weather you would have seen that on the video and then on the Saturday we had a flash flood so we had 60 mils in about an hour and it washed a whole lot of our seed down if you look in the shorts you'll see a video of me milking in the pit and I've got water coming in my boots um, yeah, so I just out of nowhere we got 60 mils and uh, yeah, washed quite a few areas of the grass seed off the paddock. Um, I did have a look this morning, there is some grass seed growing, but I'm not sure whether I'm just going to do the whole lot or if I'm going to just do patches. So we're going to have a look. Um, but I've also got to run a trailer Suzanne was using while we were away. She was carting some soft rock. You will see it on um, the shorts as well, what happened to it. Um, one of the hinges broke and it sort of just, as it was up in there, it came down on an angle over the side of the trailer. So we put it back on its frame and we're going to take it to a guy that does our engineering work. So he'll get that sorted for us. But yeah, so that's the plan for this afternoon. This morning I've just sorted out a few things. I milked and then uh, took my brother's ute back to him. Gave it a wash, a bit of a clean inside, the best I could. Just so, um, the roads are so dirty down there at the moment. So, yeah. Once again, thanks to everyone that uh, donated. Uh, not everyone watches the YouTube, but yeah, um, I'll talk to those people that I know don't. So yeah, anyways, we shall carry on. Hey, gorgeous. Oh, you're a good looking day. Uh, they've still got a bit here to eat. They can eat a bit more out of here. Alright, we'll carry on. You guys can stay here for a bit longer. Another couple of days. Check on them tomorrow. So what happened with um, the trailer is that it snapped off right here. So it's really not a good design because you got the ram pushing up and like you just got that um, box section coming down. It really needs some gussets. So this is dad's trailer so we're going to get some gussets put in on both sides. We've got to get a new ram because it's bent the end of the ram, so it's not too major. I probably could do it myself, but I just don't have time at the moment. This here needs straightening. You can see that one's bent, so a little bit of work, but it's uh, still repairable and it's still a good little trailer. So 
we're just going to make sure that seed is coming out of all the um, boots, make sure none are blocked. Got to lift it up. Can't turn it when it's down. So we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That one's a little bit less, but it might be alright. That's alright. So this is the only one that is. So we're going to go and have a look at that paddock down there now and see whether I'm going to do the whole lot or just some patches. So we'll go and have a look. Looks like a little bit of silt ended up here. I think pretty much everywhere needs doing because it's all sort of yeah, it doesn't look that great. I think if there's gonna be anything it'll be over on the the top here. But I'm not seeing any little shoots. There's an odd one which I'd expect but Yeah, like maybe here where the water is still you can see the water's run down there just taking all the topsoil or a layer of topsoil so I think we're going to drill the whole thing again and then get the roller in we're not meant to get any rain for at least a week or well, nothing substantial so there's a few little ones there a few there so that that could be there it's just been five days and with the moisture we've had you would think that they would be growing there's some more there coming up through the cracks so the seeds obviously buried a bit deep with the the water sort of washing the topsoil down so yeah I don't I wouldn't call it a mistake I wasn't taking a gamble it's just you're trying to get it in to get some moisture on it and it just didn't pay off that time which doesn't matter it's not the end of the world it is expensive because uh, I think base, a bag of 25 kg of base is over $400 so there'd be over a bag in here so it, yeah it is expensive you don't want to do it too often so yeah we're going to give it a shot now get the seed in the ground and hopefully we get a bit of moisture at some point but there's still the ground's still damp you can see over here there's a damp spot there's seed coming up through there that's still yeah, it's it's moist which is good so yeah then we'll just go for it oh, one needs cutting off it's all the old bits of pipe that got buried underneath the dirt when i was um digging that trench all right we're getting low to be expected because uh, yeah, I put three bags in, so because I'm doing it all again, we're going to be using a lot more. So I've got some more bags on the ute, which I will go and get shortly. And we've got to feed the cows that are just over there. Got to shift them, give them half a paddock and some silage. So yeah, probably go a little bit further and then go and get some seed.
beautiful evening tonight. Just got that uh, that part of the paddock done, so we're gonna do that island. I'll probably leave it till last. Go and do the one over there because that one's not as wet as what that. It's got a little piece that's quite wet, so yeah, we'll do it tomorrow. Great thing about having your own seed drawers, you can do it whenever you want. Um, but also, it's your own responsibility if you get it wrong. So, um, yeah, we've drilled it again, the whole thing. So, yeah. When I was just drilling now, you could actually see quite a few lines of seed. So, the, a lot of it had taken, but it was just hard to see during the day. But then again, it can also grow quite a bit in the day. So, um, yeah. I'm sure some of that seed will still survive even though I've drilled through it again. So, yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you somewhere on the farm. See ya.